Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Give them girls back they fucking money. Mary Jane. I'm coming to a rescue, bitch. You're going to jail, bitch. Reality of being a solo traveler, which I am not anymore. <laughs> and you shouldn't be using your platform to steal from people. Yeah. That's it. Buss it. Buss it. Got your scamming ass. You're going to jail. They're always making. I need to report and explore. It's Mary Jane. I use them in profile. Oh, this bitch is scamming her fans. She wants to be me so bad that she wants to be a new explorer. She's trying to steal me through the battle. She's trying to steal my job. She scammed me in boots. I knew that man. Hi, my loves. It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So it's been three years since I've done a conspiracy theory, and I felt like I finally had to do one on this particular individual right here. So as you guys saw that title and that thumbnail, let me just say that we are all gathered here today to drag the fuck out of this scamming-ass, sociopathic, narcissistic, slimy-ass, self-hating, scamming-ass, broke-ass bitch Mary Jane Byron. Now let me just start out by saying, please get comfy because this video is going to get very intense and I have all my receipts packed and ready to go. I also gave Ms. Mary Jane Byron an opportunity to defend herself. I even emailed her asking to do an interview, asking if she give me a statement because there was so many allegations going on and she chose to ignore me. So I pulled up to her crib and asked her personally for a statement. You see that? See that? Red Adidas pants, AirPods and Louis bag. See the red? See the red? See the red? That's her. I know those red sweatpants and I know those AirPods. So just get comfortable because shit is going to get very real very fast. But before I get started with this video, let me just start by saying that I actually got Mary Jane Byram a gift. I got her a application from McDonald's because she needs a fucking job because she needs to stop scamming her fans. And also, Subway by my house is also hiring. So if you want a job, bitch, please let me know. I'll be sure to send them your way. I got you a little hat. Now that I get you a hat, I also got you a new wig. Let me just start by saying that YouTubers are the biggest scammers. I've said it once, I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again. YouTubers are the biggest scammers. Don't trust none of them. Most of them are in pyramid schemes. Most of them are frauds, scammers, manipulators, narcissistic pieces of shit with no actual real skills. And 95% of them will actually scam you and have no empathy about it. Now, as you guys know, YouTube truly has been a cesspool filled with caca. Filled with talentless, narcissistic, and manipulative frauds who don't value their platforms and they use it as a means to shake people out of all their money. And a lot of them are allegedly scammers because many YouTubers are very materialistic. They flash their designer items. They try to live this luxurious Kardashian life. Meanwhile, most of them live on pissy ass air mattresses and don't really have shit to offer. Out of all the scammers I've talked about, she has to be the most dumbest and most slippery person I've ever reported on. She lies so damn much that she can't even keep up with her lies. And the list goes on for all the theories that have been attached to her. From all the self-hate accusations, the constant lies, the scamming, and even the allegations of her allegedly being an escort, considering her connection to Helena Millionaire, whom we all know is the girl that blasted Chris Sales a couple years ago during the whole Chris and Queen scandal for cheating on Queen. But Mary Jane has been associated with a lot of these rumors because many people always look at her lifestyle and think, how the fuck does a girl this young with a YouTube channel is able to travel the world, fly to multiple countries, and make all this damn money, or so we thought. Now, for those of you guys who didn't know, Mary Jane's image has been in shambles because she's really been out here robbing people. And that's obviously not okay considering some of the girls claim they were owed more than $2,500 after she failed to provide a substantial service. And I even decided to go undercover and ask her about her scams. And she didn't say much, but she said enough. Can address all that stuff, the rumors and all that stuff that's going on? No. No? No, because it, to me, I don't, yeah, cause I see I don't it, see the like, point. And it's all clickbait. It is, and I feel like that's what they want, you know? Like, they want me to speak my... And then, like, when you do that, you you just make yourself seem... Like, you blow the situation up more. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yo, it's like, yeah, let it's it go. Always, I hate to say it, but it's always, like, black girls. Like, they're always making... This isn't their first time. They, they Those girls made videos about me before. Like that little... Yeah. 
Mary Jane Byron is a 25-year-old YouTuber from Woodbury, New Jersey, and since her channel's creation, she has amassed millions of viewers for her story times, lifestyle videos, and even her vlogs. Mary Jane Byron was raised with four siblings. She has three younger brothers and an older sister named Christina. And her sister is also a low-down, dirty scammer, just like her. So the shit runs in the family. Mary Jane grew up being sheltered and homeschooled for most of her childhood. She had an overprotective but Christian mother who isolated her and her siblings from the real world. Mary Jane's father was also frequently absent in her life and she was raised by her stepfather and her mother. Mary Jane had no friends growing up and she always sat alone at school because people looked at her as the quirky, awkward girl. People also thought she looked a mess so nobody wanted to be her friend. Once Mary Jane finally graduated high school in 2014, she worked minimum wage jobs for a year and decided to follow her sister to China. Her goal after graduating high school in 2014 was to leave her hometown, save enough money, and of course move to China and travel the world and she documented her life as an expat and a college student and as a young black woman experiencing Asia. Mary Jane made it very clear during her channel's inception that she was mostly living off her sister's income. Her sister was a struggling model in China and worked as a nanny on the side to sustain living costs, all while Mary Jane was pursuing YouTube and education. She and her sister Christina were so broke in China back in 2016 that they were stuck eating processed ramen noodles every goddamn day for breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner, and hell, even a midnight snack at some point. That's all they fucking ate and could afford because they lived beyond their means and spent so much of their money while they were in China. So the struggle was real until it wasn't. In January of 2018, Mary Jane, as we all know, is mostly known for her controversial videos of her getting her hair treated at a Chinese salon while in China. The video generated millions of views and was even covered on major news outlets like BET.com, Allure News, and Pop Sugar. Her video even incited the popular YouTube trend where many expats and foreigners went to local hair salons and did the exact same thing. But clearly, the fame definitely got to her head. As Mary Jane gained popularity all across social media, Mary felt like she had to prove herself by perpetuating a persona of lies, fakeness, and exaggerations. Which is unfortunate because the girl loved dragging God into her shit. And I want to be a strong person. I want to be a strong Christian. I want to be a strong representation of what it means to be a Christian. Which brings me to my first conspiracy theory about Mary Jane. Mary Jane has been associated with immense amount of self-hate criticism all throughout social media because one of the many lies Mary Jane has told was about her physical phenotypes, aka her eyes. Back in 2019, a fan one time asked her if her eyes were natural, and she replied in a now deleted comment by the way, yes they are. And don't get me wrong, I get why she might have said that just to play devil's advocate because there's a lot of women who wear wigs and weaves who will say, oh yeah this is my real hair, because a lot of times it is 100% real hair and they bought the shit and it's theirs. So I get why she would lie about her eyes. But still, we knew what the fuck she meant. She was lying about her eyes and it really wasn't that serious to lie about. The eyes didn't even look real and I don't understand who she thought she was fooling. She looked fucking possessed. Mary Jane also profusely loves to do something that's very common amongst a lot of women who have self-hate issues. She profusely loves to boast about being mixed race. Even though she has said countless times that both her parents are black and African American. I'm black. But black is a color. I'm very mixed up, which also falls under the definition of black. But I don't have any Indian in my blood, interestingly enough. Six months later. While I was in Ethiopia, they all thought I was from Ethiopia. I'm part Ethiopian, but only a percentage. Laugh my ass off. Three hours later. I'm black American, meaning I'm a ton of different things all mixed up. My grandma's mixed with black and white, and my dad is Dominican and Somali, and a bunch of other stuff. My mom has no idea where her background is from. I can't really claim one ethnic group like most people in America. I hope that helps. Many, many minutes later. Are you mixed with Asian? I am a little. Four to six days later. Also, I'm 20% Indian and South Asian, which I was aware of because people are elseways. Uh, else okay, the scammer can't spell for shit. Oh my god, you can scam but you can't spell bitch. Oh Jesus, she's going to hell in a handbasket for sure. People are always asking if I'm part Indian. Shut up! And wanting to be deemed as exotic is a common thing in the black community. And I have seen it happen multiple times and many times again, especially for a lot of celebrities and influencers. A good example was the artist Trina. As we all know, Trina loves to lie about being mixed with Dominican, even though her dad has debunked that shit numerous times. Guys, Trina's half Dominican. I mean, uh -huh. that's it. So I was already, yes. My father. My father I, 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 we could think uh -huh. that's it. So I was already, yes. My father. My father. I, I was already, yes. My father. My father. I, 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 we... In our family, you know, we kind of like, we know, we Indian too. We got mixed blood, but it's not that. 
I don't know where the hell she get that out, but... Now, it's evident that most African Americans have different traces of different ethnic origins, but for her to sit up here and say that she can't claim one particular race when phenotypically it's obvious that she's black is a little bit cringe. But that's her damn business. She can enjoy her 3A, 3B type hair, but the constant bragging can kind of get annoying, especially because it seems like she kind of likes being compared to mixed people. It's also fair to point out that this girl lacks tons of integrity. Because she's so obsessed with being deemed as exotic, this girl has been accused numerous times of wearing wigs to enhance her features and her hair. It's interesting because many women know a wig when they see a wig, so it's amazing that she was able to lie about this stuff just for the sole purpose of sponsorships and making an extra paycheck. It's pretty shameful. Especially because this is a girl who claims to be a natural hair girl, which is a little bit hypocritical, and I understand that wigs are a protective style, but why lie about it? But I could be wrong. For all I know, it could be a real hair. She might just have a fucked up and infected scalp or a skin condition for all I know. And don't get me wrong, tons of drug care lines and hair care products lie all the time whenever they get celebrities to endorse their hair care products about their natural hair and how it got so wavy. But the fact that she does it for sponsorships makes it even more distasteful. And I understand her constant validation for wanting to be seen as mixed or deemed as exotic. Because this is the same girl who claims she used to get picked on and bullied because she was a black woman. I had very poofy, big, curly hair. And everybody, every time I wore my hair down, it was a huge deal. Everybody was looking at me, wanting to touch me. I used to like this boy. <laughs> and he straight up told me, like, you're really ugly. And I don't know why you like me. Because, like, you're just really ugly. And I would never date a black girl. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> As the money came coming in, her following grew more and more, and many of her fans even requested more videos of her documenting her life throughout the continent of Asia. And that led to her infamous world tour where she vowed to travel over 100 countries in one year. And she ended up succeeding in doing it. But at what cost? Much, and I, it basically got to a point where I was harassing her low key because she had my money. And one thing you're not about to do is just take my money. Mary Jane's dumb ass ended up selling her soul for a couple YouTube checks and was willing to do whatever it took to accomplish her goal of flying to over 100 countries and being the first black woman to do so. Traveling, I was so freaking poor. It then was get a unreal. job. I think a lot get of a job. Get a job. Get a GOB, travel. bitch. A job. Have no, no, they know nothing about traveling. No, nothing about because scamming. If you are a traveler, like at heart, like me and like the other people who are just born travelers, you know that nothing is going to get between you and what uh, you want to uh, do. You're not going to let anything get between us. So if you have $100 in your bank account, you're going to figure out how to split that up so you can travel. I'm so serious. Like, uh, that's not I, possible. Get a I, job. You can't split $100 to travel. When I started traveling, Thailand, uh, Vietnam, uh, no, Vietnam, I started to make a little bit. That's when you started too. scamming. It wasn't much. It was maybe, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't much. I had, I'm telling you, I had no money. I used to stay in $10 a night hostels that had bed, bed bugs. Good, bitch. Um, Good. I used to. Not be able to eat anything Good. all day. She mad because bed bugs chopping on her ass when she could have just stayed her ass home. Hong Kong. Mary Jane's initial plan was to travel the world and travel to over 100 countries just to document it for her fans. That was the goal and she was destined to do it. And she was willing to do whatever she could to do it. She got to a point where she literally created a whole GoFundMe so her fans could fund her 100 country travel tour. Which is stupid as fuck because bitch... I wish I would fund a YouTuber's travel expense when they could just stay their ass the fuck home and watch Discovery Channel. But of course, her fans donated and Mary Jane even accumulated more than $3,000 because her fans wanted to help her travel the world. Mary Jane has been facing tons of scrutiny for the past four months because many women have come forward to expose her for scamming them out of thousands of dollars. This isn't even a theory at this point. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, Mary Jane Byram is a pathological scammer who really needs help and a job application. This bitch went from oodles and noodles every damn day to being a whole damn city girl. She robbed so many of her fans that it's not even funny. Back in the New Year's of 2021, Mary Jane actually announced on her Instagram story that she will be hosting several trips throughout the entire spring and taking many young aspiring travelers to explore foreign countries with her, teaching them how to make money while traveling and how to have fun and live your life in multiple different countries. Mary Jane's goal for hosting these trips were to teach many young people who are aspiring travelers to travel the world, how to make money as an influence traveling the world, and how to live your best life in a foreign country. The goal of her trip was to find multiple girls to pay $2,500 and she would be their tour guide, book their hotel, and even give them a round trip and a tour to many attractions. Now, why does she want to be a travel agent all of a sudden? The world may never know. As I stated before, the payment for the trip was $2,500, 
which was supposed to include a round trip, a few nights in a fancy hotel, and an engaging tour hosted by Mary Jane Byron herself. Y'all got money, because I don't know how the hell $2,500 is a reasonable price, because considering that this girl was claiming that she was gonna book you guys a round trip, put you in a fancy hotel, and give you a fancy tour, all that shit could've been paid for yourself. But I understand because most people wanna travel the world, but never have people to travel with. So I understand that maybe a lot of people wanted to travel with her specifically because they wanted to just travel with this Sasquatch ass scamming ass bitch and just, I guess, have a whole travel group. Now initially, the trip was announced on her Instagram story and she told multiple people to go to her website that was in her Instagram bio in order to book the trip. She was even offering layaway, which meant you could have paid half now and half later or even could have paid $500 in multiple increments until you pay the $2,500 down. But the main issue wasn't the price or the trip itself. The main issue that everybody has with Mary Jane is the fact that many girls couldn't make it. Not only that, Mary Jane was very disorganized and she would take forever to send these girls their itinerary, confirmation code, and she wouldn't even send proof that she booked the hotel. So many girls would back out last minute and Mary Jane would refuse to send them an itinerary code. So due to that, many girls would back out of the trip and many girls refused to go on the trip. So from there, Mary Jane and her dirty ass sister would keep the money that the girls sent and then they would shut down and close their accounts, allegedly. Not only that, when the girls would try to reach out to her via email, Instagram, and even YouTube comments, their comments would instantly get blocked. Hi, Mary Jane. This is Selena from WhatsApp. I sent you $500 for the Dubai trip through Zelle back on January 17th, and I haven't heard anything back. I even texted you twice for a response, but again, nothing. I wouldn't have mind going on a different date. If not, I'd just prefer a refund. This brat's head doll bitch is a thief. She is stealing people's money to fund her traveling at Mary Jane Byam. Run my friend back her money. She booked my hotel before she even got my money to really have me believe that this is set in stone. I sent the money to her sister because she said that she her Zelle isn't working or like something like that. So I start calling the sister and I'm like, hey sister, like your sister has my money. Can you please like contact her so that she can give me back my money? And sister is saying that she hasn't heard from her sister in a while because her sister's in Egypt or whatever. I'm putting in quotes because she's still posting on social media. Like, I know you see my message about you sending me back my money. It got to the point where I threatened Mary Jane with taking legal action, which I was really full-blown willing to do because what you're not gonna do again is take my money but literally a few months ago back in april shit really hit the fan a woman by the name of ashley morera publicly disclosed her private messages with mary jane and did a youtube video exposing mary jane for scamming her and taking most of her damn money and only refunding her a percentage of it so i cashed after her twenty five hundred dollars never asked me for my passport uh, what was my full name or anything the only thing she asked me was which state i was coming from so now i have to she was very nasty like i was never rude to her but anyway it is what it is i'll never get my money back and once this video went viral mary jane quickly tried to do damage control and tried to make things right and mary jane quickly emailed the girl saying i wanted to reach out to you and get you all paid off and I wanted to offer you a trip or a package for any trouble or stress I may have caused you at the end of the day. I am a Christian woman and I am meant to act a certain way and I believe I owe you a sincere apology for the stress and worry of betrayal I caused you. I think I'm not perfect and I can be very irresponsible and I act quickly and emotionally instead of rationally and correctly. So please tell me the remainder so I can settle this and then I want to talk to you about possibly sending you on a trip. Do you like Tulum? It's beautiful, and I was just there, and I want to send you there. I will obviously be paying for the trip, and I would pay for your flight and hotel as an apology for me if you're up to it. Let me know if you're interested. Shut up! Somebody come get this squirrel. This is the same girl who loves to brag about being independent and have her own damn money, but she loves to scam people. Then when people question her about her money and how she's able to make all this money, even though she's scamming behind the scenes, she loves to say shit like this. One time a fan asked her, who's your sugar daddy? To which she replied, I know it's crazy to think a young woman could be doing this all on her own, right? There must be a man behind an amazing, successful woman. Nope, not over here. My mother raised me to be strong and independent. And your mother needs her ass slapped for raising a fucking scammer and a fake Christian. Now, speaking of her heavenly, Jesus, God-forsaken mother, 
One victim even reached out to her because one victim found her place of work and her personal phone number. And basically, the victim reached out to her saying, hey, um, your daughter scammed me and my friend. To which her dumbass mom replied this. I'm sorry you're upset. I will screenshot this and send this to her. Please don't continue to contact me personally. I hope all goes well for you today and always. Bitch, you going to hell in a handbasket. Now, weeks later, after that video went viral, Mary Jane ignored it and she refused to address it despite all the fans calling her out on it. Now, after that video went viral, Mary Jane decided to move on and ignore everything. But of course, more people ended up not doing their research on Mary Jane Biom the scammer. And come to find out, this girl ended up posting up three more trips, saying she was hosting three more, and more people gave her $2,500. And of course, more people got scammed. So collectively, 20 girls got scammed, and only a few went on the trip. So from February up to April, this girl hosted at least four to five trips. And from there, she was having several girls send her so much money from $2,000 to $2,500 just so she could possibly host them and they could all have an opportunity to get to know her. And mind you, only a few girls went on these shady ass, overpriced ass trips. However, many of the girls that did get to attend her trip that didn't get scammed, tell me why a lot of them actually spoke out when a lot of these allegations are taking traction. And many of them said that they all got played when they showed up on the trip. <laughs> Fuck. Oh yeah, she was bragging about how she paid 4000 for our private yacht, all this type shit. Of course, we do our own research. The bitch paid $40 per person for that fucking shared boat tour. And I was like, okay, no, like, no, bro, I need some fucking money back. Then it's come to my attention that some girls on the group reached out to her about being unprofessional or whatever the case may be. The bitch is going to text her and tell her to contact her via email at her business email. Bitch, I have your number. You're in the same hotel. You're in my fucking face. Like, why can't you address this shit now? Because it's making me uncomfortable at this fucking point. Like, that's rude as fuck. The last day we're scheduled to go, like, jet in to the beach. We ain't do none of that shit. So, what am I paying for at this point? Yeah, nonetheless, we did not get our money back about the things that come up when i google her i'm like oh my god yeah like i'm so glad that this trip didn't turn out to be a scam because when you google you like there's like this whole hundreds of page forum about how you're a scammer so she starts getting like really defensive and weird and like oh like you'll definitely find that stuff if you're looking for it and then we went back to the room she walked in front of me in the room that i was paying for mm -hmm. she like threw the key at me locked me out of the room and i was like was your stuff there yes so what i did was after like so she threw the key at me she locked me out of the room i was waiting in the hall i didn't i was just in shock because i was like dude i left my family during christmas and if y'all think that's bad one woman who actually went on a trip with mary jane to egypt said that it was one of the worst experiences of her life according to her she booked a trip with mary jane and mary jane only booked her a one-way trip not only that mary jane also only booked her one night at a hotel despite this girl literally paying twenty five hundred dollars and then i noticed that my room key wasn't working so i had to like go all the way to the front desk because the room wasn't paid for so i just go in and just pay for my room i just had a feeling like she wasn't gonna pay so i just didn't want no drama but when she sent me my confirmation it said she only paid 802 dollars and i didn't get a flight back home so i had to pay extra extra 775 dollars to get back home mm-hmm I just told her where's my other uh, so if I paid you two grand I'd pay extra but I, I don't care about the money I, that I the ticket that I bought whatever but what happened to the other one thousand uh, one hundred ninety eight dollars you know what I mean I didn't because she time, didn't pay for the hotel yeah so I kind of included that at this point I'm just like okay I'm just gonna buy my plane ticket back then this girl was mary jane's sugar mama because mary jane was broke as fuck throughout the entire trip and only had her on it evidently mary jane was broke as fuck and needed a sugar mama she used the girl as a cash cow and would dm her saying hey elena could you come back down here when you get a chance lol the bank just shut my card off i wonder why and i'm short on cash if i could borrow 600 egyptian dollars until the bank puts my card back on yes i'm on my way 
I literally had to beg the hotel staff here to let me extend my reservation without paying until my card started working. They allowed me to, and it literally just got turned back on this morning. I went downstairs to extend both our stays here at the Marriott, and I got cash out to pay you back, and I was going to meet you for lunch, but you left. Right when the girl books her trip back home, because Mary Jane booked her a one-way. And of course, Mary Jane did agree to pay her back because the girl had to book her one-way trip back home because Mary Jane refused so. And Mary Jane also agreed to pay her back for the money she paid for the hotel because she had to book her own hotel. So collectively, the woman who went on the trip paid more than $4,000 on this entire trip. The victim later reached out to the Zelle number that she sent her money to because mind you, Mary Jane travels to foreign countries, so Zelle isn't available everywhere. Considering that, Mary Jane's dumbass sister was accepting some of the payments via Zelle because she's in America. So, the victim reached out to her via text message and said, Hey, since I sent my money to you via Zelle, I want my refund back. And basically, her sister said, Oh, I sent her your message. Oh, and by the way, I'm not involved with her business, which is a lie, but I'll explain later. So then, the victim threatened law enforcement. And tell me why her dumbass sister sent her a voicemail all mopey asking for a second chance to pay the money back. Hi, this is Christina Byram, and I got a call from you yesterday about wanting a refund for your trip from MJ. Um, I did let her know. Um, I'm not sure if she contacted you yet, but she will be contacting you if she has not. And um, so, like, if she doesn't refund you, please don't go to the police. Um, we will refund Um Call me. Yeah, we can work out, you know, paying it back to you. Um, yeah, call me when you get a chance. Thanks. Interestingly enough, all of a sudden, her sister's involved. And I have 100% proof that her sister is a part of her business. Because believe it or not, this is not Mary Jane's first workshop. Mary Jane is also infamously known for charging people $250, yes, $250 for meet and greets. And tell me why her dumbass accidentally, accidentally said in a video one time that her sister is heavily involved in her website and managing her shit and her LLC. My sister helps me. My sister helps me. So I... She does all like the... She's basically like my... Uh, creative director she sets up my website and the tickets and all that stuff so her dumbass actually has an LLC, and if you look closely she one time nine months ago listed her LLC in her description interesting electric chair <laughs> Shit. By the beginning of May and the end of spring, Mary Jane quickly wrapped up our trip, quickly got that bread, got that head, and left, and she quickly stole all that fucking money. And of course, Mary Jane disabled all her comments on YouTube, including her Instagram, so she can avoid all the negative press just for the sole purpose of saving her ass. So, I want all of you guys to do me a favor and go over to Mary Jane Biom's Instagram. This is her Instagram right here. Click the little sign that says report. Scroll all the way down to where it says fraud or scam. And please report her shit and let's get her Instagram taken down. Let's stop her bags. Of course, if we can get a thousand people to do this, we can get her shit taken down. Speaking of that, not only did she disable everything, she also decided to get on camera weeks after the allegations blew up to literally tell a blatant lie and tell people that her phone got snatched and someone got access to her phone. She even was stupid enough to record her computer screen and show where the person who apparently pickpocketed her ran and took her phone at. I got robbed. <laughs> Yeah, I never thought it would happen to me, but I was walk yeah, I never thought it would happen to me, but I was walking down the street. I never thought it would happen to me, but I was walking down the street. Never thought it would happen to me, but I was walking down the street. Thought it would happen to me, but I was walking down the street here in London and someone literally just came and he just literally yanked my phone out of my hand. He just he was on a bike, so he was going very fast and he snatched it right perfectly out of my hand and kept riding so fast i didn't have the opportunity to be like hey that guy took my phone like he was gone by the time i would have gotten those words out of my mouth um so um surprisingly i wasn't upset i have insurance so i erased the phone i called my sister immediately and i was like what do i do she's like erase your phone now so i take it to the closest police station 
Yeah, you guys, I just got my phone stolen in London. Like, what the crap? Who does that? I'm sending the person who stole my phone a message right now. I know where you are, thief. You are thief. I know where you are, thief. London, like, what the crap? Who does that? I'm sending the person who stole my phone a message right now. I know where you are, thief. You are thief. I know where you are, thief. <laughs> Boom! Activate! This, and it says the phone will be locked with this yeah, message on the front. I erased it uh, on find my iPhone app and then like Mary Jane being the fucking dummy that she is filmed her computer screen and showed the address of the so-called thief who took her phone yeah you guys I just got my phone stolen in London uh, you guys I just got my phone stolen in London like what the crap who does that but damn is this bitch an evil genius because she evidently did that because she wanted an alibi. So just in case any of these girls tried to sue her, come for her, or claim they scammed, claim they got scammed, she could easily say, oh yeah, somebody stole my phone and got access to it. We could all see what she was doing. But clearly, Mary Jane Byron being the dummy that she is. Let me just say that my peep game is on fleek. Because I quickly noticed that and I quickly did a quick Google search to find out where her so-called pickpocketer was. And come to find out... He was literally right around the corner from her current hotel. She had one job, and that was to be a good scammer. And as you can see on the screen, I did a quick Google search, and she was staying at the Paddington Hotel. And as you can see on the red dot, that's where her so-called iPhone thief was. So you're roaming around the UK, and some way, somehow, your scammer just so happened to be right around the corner from your hotel. Interesting. So all I did was a quick Google search and that girl was literally one minute around the corner from her phone that apparently got stolen while she was roaming London. And as you can see on the screen, she's one minute and 144 feet away. By car, it's one minute, but by foot, it's 34 seconds. Bitch, she stole that shit. She took that shit like she stole them girls money. I'm trying to figure out how somebody pickpocketed you, stole your damn phone while it's in your hand. They were on a bike. And some way, somehow, they're literally right around the corner from your hotel. Like I said, she stole that shit. This bitch still so goddamn much, she don't even remember what the fuck she stole. How the hell you don't remember that she stole your own damn phone? Give, give yourself back your own damn phone before I call the police. And how did I know what hotel she was staying in? You're a dummy, bitch. She literally recorded her email while she was showing where her phone was stolen at. While she was on FaceTime, she ended up revealing her personalized itinerary code for Expedia. I peeped that shit. Look a little closer if you ain't see it. There it go right there. 7-2, blah, 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 and look right underneath. It says London Paddington. So that's the hotel that she was staying at. And I looked up her itinerary code, and it gave me access to everything. Many people seen it as well, but not that many people really peeped it, peeped it. I typed that shit into Expedia.com and it told me exactly what her booking confirmation was for Expedia via the Paddington Hotel, which is the hotel that she was staying at. So I know exactly what hotel she was staying at and I knew her current hotel because it was attached to all her future and past trips. You're a dummy bitch. Like what the crap? Who does that? You're a dummy bitch. Disclaimer, it doesn't give you access to her personal information, but since you put her itinerary number out, everyone knows, rather you're giving your itinerary code for a flight, to your cousin, your mom, your brother, your boyfriend, everyone knows if someone has your itinerary number or your confirmation number, they can get access and see what time your flight leaves, what time you book a hotel, what time you check out. And her dumbass is very loyal to Expedia because she has so many reward points. That's how she gets so many discounts on all these nice ass hotels. And as we all know, she's currently in Amsterdam, as you can see. So Expedia is actually where she books her flights, where she finds her hotels, and where she finds the best deals. She books everything through here. Thank you, Mary Jane. You're the one that put your itinerary number out there. Not me. You did, bitch. And a lot of people peeped it, but not enough people did. So, yeah.
You're a dummy, bitch. You will never know shit. And it's disgusting because this is the same girl that claims to be all about God and God's way. And, oh, God did this and God and God. Bitch, God didn't tell you to be a scamming ass bitch. This is not God's way. This is disgusting and disgrace. Stop bringing God into your bullshit. I care about you. God cares about you. But the universe will chew you up and spit you out. It will suck you up in a tsunami, spin you around in a tornado, and shoot you into oblivion. It does not care about you, okay? God does. I want to be a strong Christian. I want to be a strong representation of what it means to be a Christian. And religion, he talks about a relationship. He wants to have a relationship with you. That's all he wants. So basically, my intention was to find Mary Jane, fly on a plane. I went on a 20-hour flight. My flight got delayed seven times. United Airlines lost my luggage, but I was still determined to find Mary Jane, find out where the fuck she was, and I found out she was in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Hey guys, it's Mary Jane. Um, I want to let you guys know for the millionth time that I mixed. Um, I mixed with Cherokee Indian. I mixed with Muslim. I mixed with a lot of Indian. Um, I have a lot of European in me. I have a lot of German. Um, I mixed with French. I mixed with Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. Um, I'm also mixed with Spaceship and I'm also mixed with Astronaut. Oh, and I'm also mixed with Scammer. That's where I get my hair from because Scammer runs in my family. So yeah. So I basically booked a flight, booked the hotel that she was staying at, and guess what? I also found out what floor she was on. Best believe that it was not easy trying to find her. My first couple of days was a struggle and I wore a disguise most of the time, but I ended up finding her while I was roaming the street and I took some nice pretty photos and even a video of her. I spent days walking around in the hot sun. I also spent days in the humidity just looking for her, walking around and I was able to find her ass right and clear. And I was able to catch her ass in 4K. And evidently, I knew she was at the same hotel I was because like I said, I booked at her hotel. But the thing is, it was very difficult because I didn't know what floor she was on. This was a massive hotel with damn near 100 rooms. So I had no idea where she was, when she would come out, or how I would catch her slipping. I just knew that I would roam around the entire area until I can catch her in public. My flight was literally 20 hours long. I had a 12-hour layover in Chicago, had to sleep in the airport, and United even lost my luggage to the point where I had to buy a whole new clothes. United couldn't even find my luggage for literally three days it drove me insane and so many negative things were happening it drove me nuts and to make matters worse i literally got on a plane for eight hours of a crying baby right behind me all large electronic devices stored at this time also everyone's phone put into airplane mode thank you i'm in amsterdam i'm gonna find you soon mary jane i'm gonna find you But you better believe that I damn sure made it to the hotel and I wasn't leaving until I found her ass. At some points, I even slept in the lobby and at some points, I even put a door stopper at my door all night hoping I would hear her voice so that way I could follow her out and catch her ass in public. But it wasn't that easy. Despite finding her in public, I wanted to find out her hotel room because finding her in public wasn't enough. I needed to know where she was living. And she walked fast as fuck, so I couldn't catch up to her on time when I saw her in public that one time. So I was destined to find out what room she was in so that way I could follow her out and confront her. But of course, more shit happened. I even went as far as downloading Tinder and using this dude's picture that I found on the internet. And basically, I was trying to swipe through and try to find the distance. Because you know, on Tinder, you can actually calculate the distance of how far somebody is, hoping that I would find somebody that's 18 feet, 20, 30 feet away that just happened to be Mary Jane. But she wasn't on Tinder. Despite being in the same hotel as her, I still wanted to be close enough to find out where her room was. Now, I ended up doing this and it worked. I went to the Mac store or the makeup store and basically I went to go buy some random makeup product and I basically went to the front desk of the lobby and said, hey, um, a dark skinned black woman dropped this. I believe she was American. You know, I wanted to say she had on dusty ass sweatpants and a just for me perm, but I kept it short and simple and they said, oh, okay, we know who you're talking about and they called her out. I stood by the lobby and she came out and then I found out what hotel room she was in and I basically asked for the exact same floor that Mary Jane was on. And guess what? Mary Jane Byram ended up being two hotel rooms not too far from me. This is my hotel room, y'all. Y'all hear her? She's literally right in front of me. 
And I can hear her loud ass conversation. This is fucking crazy. I'm in my hotel room, by the way. She's right across the hall. Her door is right across. Why is she so fucking loud? Shut up. Not shut up, keep talking, but damn, she's so loud. <laughs> shut up. Scammer. She better be laughing at that damn lawsuit when people find her ass for scamming people. Ain't shit funny about scamming. What's she laughing for? I found out that she wasn't alone. She actually had a friend with her for majority of her trip. Initially, my plan was to embarrass the fuck out of her ass, make her apologize, record her, and even have my body cam on the whole time. And guess what? I did. I had my body cam on when I confronted her. However, things didn't really work out that way. My initial plan was to confront her, embarrass her, and pull the white chicks and be like, freeze, bitch, FBI, and basically get her to admit to everything and apologize to all the victims. That was my initial plan. However, things didn't work out like that because I can't really film her ass and run up on her damn hotel because I can't run that damn fast. And if I try to confront her, she'd more than likely get hotel security to throw my ass out and I was scared that she would recognize me. So instead, I was gonna wait for her to walk out of her hotel room, go out into the public, and then I'll confront her. Unfortunately, Mary Jane is a fucking homebody with no life, so she stays her ass in her fucking hotel room, which I'm not judging because I don't have a life either. She stays her ass in the hotel room 95% of the times and I wasn't able to catch her in public. So by the time the end of my trip was coming, I said, okay, look, you know what? Fuck this shit. I decided to say, you know what? Let me call my Uber. My Uber was three minutes away, packed my bags, checked out, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna pretend to be a fan of this bitch and I'm gonna hand her a job application and then I'm gonna be out. Some water? Hmm? Would you like some water? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. I actually recognize you. I saw you walk by me and I was like. You recognize me from? From YouTube. I was oh, like. Oh, you do? As I'm checking out, I'm like. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was so nice to meet you though. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? My name is D. D? Like the letter D. D. Yeah. Nice oh. to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're leaving? Yeah. Oh, thank you for the yeah. water. Thank you so much. When are you going to post again on YouTube? I did yesterday. Really? Yeah, last night. Okay, thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. I'm gonna catch my Uber. Aww. And also, can I hug you? Of course. Yes. Are you ever gonna address all that stuff, the rumors and all that stuff that's going on? No. No? No, because uh, to me, I don't. Yeah, because I see I don't it. See and the I'm point like, and it's all clickbait. It is, and I feel like that's what they want, you know? Like, they want me to speak my. And then, like, when you do that, you, you just make yourself seem like you blow the situation up more. Right. You know what I mean? I know it's not true, and I know like it's people who have two cents know it's not true. It's like every week it's a clickbait video. It's like yeah, let it go. Always, I hate to say it, but it's always like black girls. Like they're always making. This isn't their first time. They, they those girls made videos about me before. Like that little like stupid a, page on what's it called? Alley something. I don't know. I don't pay attention. Stupid I bullshit. have a life, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right. So, who knows? Yeah, I, I get a lot of love, so I don't care. It's crazy, but like, you know, keep your head up, you're doing fine. Oh, yeah, I'm great. Okay. Because it's crazy because everybody's like, oh, she needs to apologize. I'm like, for what? Like, it's just a stupid you ass know more than I do. I'm like, scroll. You know it's more like, stupid. But listen, you're fine, you're good, you're beautiful, you're doing fine. And, oh, wait, also, I'm going to give you something. Hold on. Let's see. I should wrote you a letter. Don't, don't open it yet. Don't you wrote oh, me a letter? I did, I did. I was like, oh my god, let me write it real quick because my Uber is like three minutes away, but it's so nice to meet you. Oh my, oh my god, god, how? But nice to meet you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Okay, uh, see, uh, ya. I see ya. See <laughs> ya. You're a dummy, bitch. So I confronted her and I pretended to be a big fan of Mary Jane Byron. So Mary Jane is absolute garbage. She didn't take any kind of ability for anything. She, uh, she obviously has no remorse. Evidently, she doesn't want to admit to anything she did. She doesn't have any remorse. She doesn't care. She's making it seem like all these victims have no fucking life. And I was just very disgusted, especially because she sat up there and literally said, oh yeah, it's always black girls making videos about me. 
as if most of her following isn't young women of color or more specifically black women. That's a little bit distasteful and disgusting that she even said that. And it just shows that this girl has no remorse. She thinks black girls are obviously hating on her. She's incredibly delusional. and She's incredibly narcissistic. She didn't say much, but she definitely said enough. I did give her a job application. And I told her it was a fan letter. So that's going to be really fucking funny. Hey, Mary Jane. Hi, bitch. Hi. I know you're watching this. Yeah, that was a job application. And I was meant for you. Like I said, I handed her application to Subway. The Subway my house is hiring. Fill it out, bitch. Deadline is on the 18th of next month. Fill it out. Fill it out. So, yeah. My plan was to record her, embarrass her, give her application, which I did, and to give her a new wig. But, of course, it didn't really work out like that, and it didn't really work out in my favor. So, unfortunately, I had to just do what I could, and I got the fuck out of Europe because I was tired of their unseasoned-ass food. That's all I got to say. Mary Jane Byarm, you are a horrible individual. You need to be held accountable. And one of these days... Somebody's going to beat your ass. Beat the fuck out of you, bitch. Because you literally have the audacity to run from country to country to country and scam all your followers. And you're still getting sponsorships. How distasteful. Honestly, the moral of the story is this. I don't want to end off this video on a bad note. I want everyone to understand that despite what the victims went through and despite all the horrible antics of Mary Jane Byarm, everything that comes to the dark will always come to the light. And people always get what they deserve in the long run. You can try to hold people accountable and in many cases succeed, but in some cases, you have to let God handle shit. Because if you can't handle it, let God handle it. If you can't handle it, let the universe handle it. And they will do what they have to do. Because at the end of the day, she seems like she's living her best life. But I'm pretty sure on the inside, she's very deeply miserable. And she knows damn well that what she did to these girls was evil. And one of these days, she's going to be held accountable to the full extent. And all of us are going to be here laughing at her. Karma is very much real. And everybody gets it in the end. So one thing I want to say is... As far as these young women, as far as aspiring travelers, please do not try to fuck, please don't be out here trying to book all these expensive ass travel agents. Don't be trying to be begging or be interested in trying to travel with a whole bunch of people that you don't know like that. Travel alone if you have to. I know it sounds scary, especially for women, but travel alone if you have to. There's plenty of countries that are safe for solo travelers. Many parts of Mexico are very safe. Places like Cancun are very safe. Same thing with Shanghai, Singapore, and even Japan are very safe for women travelers. Please travel alone if you can't really find no one to travel with. You don't need busted ass broke bitches like Mary Jane to travel with you. You don't need no dumbass influencer to travel with you. You know, Mary Jane had this amazing idea where she just wanted to go on an amazing girls trip, teach girls how to be bosses, travel the world, and be influencers and make money doing so. And it would have been great because a lot of girls love doing girls trips. And if it was executed properly, it would have been amazing. She ended up shitting on all their dreams and putting them through emotional distress. And that's really unfortunate because these girls probably really looked up to her and really wanted to meet her. But look what she did. She did all this bullshit, and for what cause? These girls really impulsively spent a ton of money on a scenario where I don't even know if these girls will ever be able to get their money back. If these girls try to file litigation, it'll probably cost more money to file this shit and even more money just to pursue this in the court of law. Please do me a favor and go report her Instagram for fraud and report her fucking photoshopped ass pictures for false advertisement because fuck her, she's a fraud, she's a scammer. And these are young women. These women may never trust another soul and some of them will never even trust another influencer because of what this bitch did. And it's a shame that still to this day, she'll still sit there in my face and tell a lie from the pits of hell and deny taking money from these girls and then turn around and act like they're all hating on her and they're all just black girls who just want to make videos about her all the time. It's pathetic. This girl genuinely needs a fucking therapist. Please, for the love of God, travel with your man. Travel with your girl. Travel with someone that you trust. Travel with a cousin. Travel with somebody that's financially stable. Or go on a Facebook group and plan to meet up with people who'd like to travel the world. You know, you don't got to live in the same hotel. You don't got to be on the same flight. You guys don't have to book your flights together. Book your own flights. Book your own hotels. And link up with people afterwards. Because bitches can't be trusted when it comes to traveling. That's why a lot of people don't like to travel because it's very difficult planning a trip because people love to flake last minute. Bitches like to act like they're going to help you or be there, but then they won't split anything. Don't trust anyone. Don't pay anybody any type of money unless you get a receipt. Pay for your own shit and don't give anybody, again, any money unless you get a tangible receipt so that way you can retract it, backtrack it, and get a refund. At the end of the day, this is why I always preach about never stealing and never taking nothing from nobody. Because at the end of the day, what goes around comes around. And all this fucking money that this bitch stole from all these victims 
It's gonna come right back, circling around right back to her ass. One of these days, somebody's gonna steal something massive from her. Somebody's gonna steal her money, somebody's gonna steal her identity, somebody's gonna steal her livelihood, somebody's gonna steal her channel, something. And she's gonna deserve every bit of it. Because at the end of the day, what she did to these girls was just evil. Fuck her mom, fuck her sister, and fuck her for allowing this bullshit to happen, for being complacent in this bullshit. Her whole family is aware of all this, and they're not doing nothing, they don't care. And she has no regard, and to this day, no sympathy two months later. Thank you guys so much for watching this conspiracy theory. More to come very soon. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys thought about me confronting this stupid ass bitch at her front door, pretending to be a fake ass fan, handing her ass a job application on the subway, subway that's hiring. Mary Jane, I know you're watching this bitch. Please understand that conspiracy theories are back. And yes, I know it's been a while. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you guys so much. I'm back on schedule. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the support. Please be sure to join my Patreon if you guys are interested. Follow me on Instagram. And again, don't forget to report this bitch's Instagram while you're at it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. And fuck Mary Jane. I said tomorrow, I'll be holding you tight. And there's no way in this world I ever be. But you in my arms, and you in my arms, you and me. <sighs> I just can't dream of you.